We're now less than a week away as recreational marijuana sales are set to begin here in Connecticut. And sales are expected to be around $375 million. That is just during the first year with a huge turnout expected on day one. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed is live in Old Saybrook tonight with a look at how those dispensaries are getting ready. Bryant. Yeah, Mark and Aaron, and the reason that we're in Old Saybrook is because this is still one town that's trying to figure out whether they do or do not want to start selling marijuana recreationally. But some town that does already have its mind made up is 30 minutes down the road, and that's Branford. And today, we got the inside track on how, how they're preparing for sales on day one. Only six days until Connecticut launches recreational marijuana sales, but who's counting? Ben Kovler says he is. He's the CEO of Green Thumb Industries, who owns Blue Point Wellness in Branford, which at this time is open only to medical marijuana, but will soon change its name to Rise once they sell recreationally on the 10th. So we learned less than 30 days ago that this is going to launch on this date. Clarity on packaging, compliance labels, systems, sort of the back end stuff that nobody sees. He says they've been scrambling to dot their I's and cross their T's, but everything will fall into place come 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Kovler says this is what people can expect. To so come in, it's a shop around, look around. You're treated with a guest consultant that can help you walk through a menu. You can place an order online through a kiosk or live with somebody, and all the product is from behind the counter to the customer in a bag, and then they leave. But there are some things to know before you race to get in line for a calming strain. The essentials are state-issued ID from whatever state you're in, cash, because we cannot take credit card or things like that, and a good attitude. This is a very exciting time. It's an exciting moment. You're getting product that's going to make you feel good. Kovler says that at Rise, they don't expect anything to change for their existing medical users. They're also expecting growth, but not a significant increase in revenue, and says for shoppers not to expect too much on the menu, as the state is limiting what can still be sold. Now, Kovler, as you heard there, says that they are expecting long lines and a pretty significant wait time, especially on the first day there. Meanwhile, here in Old Saybrook, that meeting to talk about the recreational sales starts in just in less than an hour uh, at 7 o'clock tonight. Now, proposals here have been struck down before. However, as many know, these types of things take time. In Old Saybrook tonight, I'm Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.